All right, so next topic that we have to understand is equally likely outcomes. Okay, so we have to take examples for this. So if I toss a coin, so if I toss a coin, two things can happen. Either I'll get a head or I'll get a tail. Okay, so the, what's the chance of chance of getting a head and the chance of getting a tail in this case is same right you can understand this both are 50% chance or 50% chance of getting a head and 50% chance of getting a tail this is what equally likely outcomes that means there is an equal chance of getting a head and there is an equal chance of getting a tail isn't it all right so now if i take another example suppose I am uh, taking few numbers. Suppose 1, 4, 5 is there. Suppose 8 is there and a 9 and uh, suppose 12. Okay. So, I am telling you is that a pick a pick an even number. Okay. So, if you pick an even number over here, how many even numbers are there? 4, 8, 3. Okay. Now, if I tell you pick an odd number. So, now if I have to pick an odd number, how many odd numbers are there? 1, 5 and 9. So, what does it, what does it tell you is that there is an equal chance of getting an even number and equal chance of getting an odd number. That means, this is a case of equally likely outcomes. Okay. Let's take one more example so that you understand better. Let's say there is a dice. Obviously, dice has one, two numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the possibility of or the chance of getting one, getting two, getting three, getting four, getting five, getting six are all equal. So this is a case of equally likely outcomes. Okay. Now imagine a dice where there are two trees. Okay there are two trees and there is no six. So, this is not a case of equally likely outcomes. Why? Because the chance of getting three is more because three is occurring twice and other numbers are occurring only once, three is occurring twice, the chance of getting three is more, right? Okay. So, the probability that we calculate is always based on equally likely outcomes and that is why we have to understand this concept of equally likely outcomes. In a probability theory, we are going to calculate the probabilities of those events only which have equally likely outcomes, right? I hope you have understood this concept. Next, we are going to deduce or derive or learn the formula for calculating probability of a certain event.